Hello, hello everyone. Welcome on back to the Dojo Squad. Hey Heiko, what's up? Welcome on in. How you doing today, folks? Sorry we're a little late today. I had something last minute come up that, uh, had to, had to just barely get in the way of the stream. But that's okay. We're here now. We're ready to do some any percent practicing. We've got more Wooden Kingdom to learn. And I am ready to throw myself at it. Because we, there, there's a lot of tough movement here we gotta learn, folks. There is a good amount of tough movement. Like that, for instance. I'm supposed to get a triple jump out of that somehow. And I have no idea how. It also would help if we could see Mario. But that's fine. We're just, we're practicing. The music's a bit loud. Okay, I can, I can tone down the music a little bit. There we go. You just started playing the first mission of GTA 5 story mode. Have you, oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Have you ever done GTA 5 story mode before? Have you only played online before, Heiko? The story mode is, is really fun. It was great for when it came out. Not so much for uh, the third generation of console it's been released on. It's time for a new game. Depending on how much money the car that is being fixed costs, I can put a lot towards the PS5. Nice, that's awesome, Dragon. I hope you're able to get it. PS5 is so worth it. Maybe not at this exact moment, but when more games like Ratchet and Clank come out for it, it'll be so worth it. But it's getting there. You know, it's got Miles Morales, the Spider-Man, it's got Ratchet and Clank now. It's getting there. It's got some good titles. You did a bit of it way back in 2014, but now you're going to start to go through it all bit, bit by bit. Nice. Have fun with that. Um, I think I did a couple playthroughs. Uh, mostly it was just my, my original playthrough, and then I did it again to try and make as much money as possible. By uh, I, I like played the full game through, and then I did certain stock missions, and I just invested everything in those stocks before I did the mission. So it was a pretty cheap way of making as much money as you possibly can. I would love to get these triple jumps, but they are very difficult to line up. So that is what we're practicing right now. We're trying to get this triple jump. I can actually, I can show you exactly what we're practicing. If I do this, not that, uh, where is it? Here. So, I'm trying to practice this jump here that the world record does. They get that really quick roll boost, and then they get into that triple jump somehow. And I gotta be able to jump off of the railing like that, which is kind of insane. I don't know if I'll get another triple jump along the, the sloped roof there, but as long as we can get the triple jumps off the railing in this part... Oh, crap. Okay, save that. <laughs> Got lucky there. As long as we can get these triple jumps, I'll be happy. You do t tend to spend most of your time online. That's where most of the fun is. Once you complete the main story game, it's not as much fun playing that anymore. Ay -ay -ay. Couldn't move towards the right at all. You like playing the story mode too, Dragon? Uh, that it never fin feel like it finished though. I mean, there, there was a nice end to the story, but the fact that it lets you keep on playing, I guess, makes it feel like that. Online mode is definitely a lot of fun once you finish story mode. I remember back when I started playing online, they had just introduced it. God dang it. That second jump just crested too high over the railing, and I can't land on it to get that triple jump. It's so aggravating. The worst part is I'm not even doing the triple jump from the right point. Oh crap. I'm gonna drop down here so as to avoid deep woods. I'm supposed to start these jumps, not even the triple jump, but just getting into the, the roll boost for the triple jump. I'm supposed to start it from over here. Here we go. Okay, so I, I come out from up here. I'm supposed to long jump over. Wasn't the best angle. Do a quick roll boost there, and then into a triple jump. Even though I have, like, I feel like I have no speed. And then I go right over the fence. There's n I'm doing the smallest little bunny hop I can do for the second jump, but I still just... I go right over the fence. I don't know how to land on it. That is a very difficult piece of equipment for me to learn. A piece of movement. Okay, let's just die so we get some full health. You always struggled with some of the co-op stuff in online? Oh my god, yeah, okay. If you're trying to do like a heist or a mission like that online and you don't have personal friends you're doing with, it's an absolute nightmare doing it with randoms. That's the only way I did it, because I didn't have friends back in the day of playing uh, GTA 5 on PS3. So, yeah, I did everything with randoms and it sucked. It would take me like 20 tries just to get through one uh, prison heist. That's the first heist they added into online mode. It took forever. Very difficult to do. Definitely more enjoyable with friends. Okay, not, none of that was a triple jump, so that's cool. I mean, I'm supposed to land, like, here with it. Nah, that's too far. I wanna see if I can, like, fake do it from midway through. If I can get a long jump. There we go. 
Nope, that doesn't work. Dragon. Why does that second jump go so far? I just gotta tap it. I gotta tap that second jump. That time I was too far. Alright. Hello from Maine. Hello, Karate Mom. How you enjoying vacation? Hoping you're getting some good weather up there. Lexi misses you. Okay, didn't get any jumps, but we made it on it. Hello, what? What was that? That was weird. Okay, well, I got the moon. <laughs> with the bonk. I'm, I think I'm supposed to technically bonk with that moon anyway. Yeah, I'm supposed to end up getting a triple jump off the corner of that fence, too. Like, what? How is that tech possible? I mean, it is. I've seen runners do it, but, like, how the hell do you land a move like that so precisely? That's ridiculous. I don't understand why the second jump sends him flying. The momentum is so weird with this jump. I don't get it. Oh, you're getting the ram in the mail tomorrow? That's awesome, Heiko. Thought I was gonna say these nuts. Probably, yeah, I did, because that's what you usually do. God damn it. Yeah, I need my second jump to, like, keep moving forward, I guess, because, I don't know, the momentum's really weird with these jumps. Turn around, turn around. There we go. Would help if I could see. Oh, I got the triple jump! That's awesome! Okay, that was really cool. We did something correct there. That's too short. Yeah, okay. Saw that coming. <laughs> but hey, we got the uh, we got the triple jump. That's pretty cool. Dinner in five. All right, you go enjoy your dinner, Karate Mom. Revered, welcome on in. Playing some more Paper Mario. Nice. Sees Karate Man goes live. Also watch E3 Day 3 live stream. Yes, let's talk about E3, guys. Any, uh, any cool game announcements that you're excited for? I honestly didn't really see much today I'm super excited for, not gonna lie. I think Xbox's segment has really stolen all of E3's show because they had so many reveals. So, yeah, I think every other company that's there is lacking in compared to Xbox. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree, Heiko. E3 is pretty boring this morning. Just a bunch of Verizon talk. I didn't even watch that segment. I watched a little bit of the indie games and was slightly more disappointed than I thought I'd be. I thought maybe there'd be some cool stuff, but not really. God damn it. <laughs> Just bonked straight into that wall. Wait, I can do this. Not like that. Hang on. Get out of here! Dumb upper. Piss off! <laughs> I don't need you. There we go. DLC content for Resident Evil 8, more content for Monster Hunter Rise, and Razor released the, uh, new face masks that look cool as <laughs> cool I have. Glad at a uh, video game conference, Razor is announcing masks. Real cool. That's definitely what I'm looking for to E3 for. Triple jump! No! Why you jump so high? Stupid double jump. Ah, crap. All mentioned at the ending. Wow. Way to, way, to live the, way to leave the biggest reveals for the end of the show. Triple jump. God dang it. I even pulled myself backwards midair. You can see me turn around midair. And I didn't do shit to stop his momentum. Or line him up, like, at all better. Crap. Here it is. Let's keep practicing. We're gonna do this trick until we can get it right. Oh, right, yes, there was a Guardians of the Galaxy game. You are correct, Karate Mom. I'm slightly skeptical of that game, though. So, that was announced from Square Enix yesterday. Square Enix's segment was also kind of shitty, not gonna lie. But, uh, they did announce this new Guardians of the Galaxy game, which looks cool on the surface, however, Based on the total flop and bullshit that was Marvel's Avengers bat last September, I'm very skeptical to see them release this game. I want to play it, but am I going to buy it as soon as it comes out? 
hell no. We're gonna wait this time to see some reviews of the game, because the last one from Square Enix sucked. So hopefully that one's a bit better. Uh, it doesn't look like a co-op game like Marvel's Avengers, so hopefully they put a little more effort into the single-player experience. But we'll see. They reused a lot of assets in Marvel's Avengers, so I wouldn't be surprised if they did the same for Guardians of the Galaxy. No, bro, you should have landed on that fence. Come on. God damn it. Yo, piss off, you dumb uproot. Jeez, they're so annoying. Nintendo tomorrow, so you're looking forward to seeing what they have in store? Yes, I'm very excited for Nintendo segment. That's probably the only other segment of this whole E3 that I'm excited about. And I really, really, really want an Odyssey 2 announcement and a Breath of the Wild 2 trailer. I think both would be amazing, because Breath of the Wild 2 is already announced. We know it's coming, we just haven't seen anything from it. Odyssey 2 has never been announced, so I don't care if we don't get a trailer for that, I just want an announcement. I want something about the game. <laughs> You're yet to find a mod menu for GTA 5. Heiko, you're gonna get yourself banned so quickly. <laughs> okay, well, it'd be nice if you face the right way. No. Turn around. Turn around fully. Come on. There we go. Two, three. One, two, three. Nope. Okay, well, I didn't get the triple jump, but that's fine. At least I got on there. Bro, why are you not, like, grabbing the wall? What is with you? Alright, whatever. So we would have gotten the nut. Cool. Let's do it again. <laughs> you realize what you did wrong? In every mod menu, there's a recovery option, which is where you give yourself money. And what do you do? Oh, you did- you gave yourself money instantly. Yeah, you can't do that. You gotta do it, like, slowly over time, or else they'll definitely know you're cheating. That's what, uh, that's what hackers used to do for me last summer when I was playing GTA. They would drop cash on you at, like, a slow-ish rate, just so you wouldn't get caught by the, uh, the auto-modded, moderated servers. You do that- you need to do the option where it gives you money, but you need to restart your game in order to get it, to make it look like Rockstar gave it to me. Weird, never knew that. I know some people use, like, a money cannon, which is actually kind of ridiculous. What? Bro, how is that not a triple jump? You guys are gonna get sick of this music by the end of the stream. No! Land on the fence, you dummy! You ended up finding RAM that was $45? That seemed like it was cheaper than uh, what you had told us last stream. That's cool. Saving a little bit of money, Heiko. Good for you. Corsair, 8 gig. Nice! So this will bring you to 16 total? Fuck. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> nice! That sounds awesome, Heiko. Hopefully your computer will run faster with that. Give it a little more processing power. 16 total. Nice! Are you using all four slots on your computer's motherboard for RAM, or can you still upgrade in the future if need be? Ah, oh, that jump was too short. My jumps are never too short. I always go over top of it. Revere, do you have any advice for landing on fences easier? Because Mario just hates landing on fences. God damn it, dude. Oh wow, I got up and I didn't even need the pull. That's cool. Okay, try again. Nope, try again. Yeah, alright, that was way too far on the end of the first triple jump. There was no way that was gonna work. Does Mario say the word hop when he hops? I don't think so. I think it just says hop, like hop. I don't think there's a P on there. But maybe you're hearing things, who knows. Wow, that was the shortest triple jump I've ever had. Good thing the slime was here to damage me. Here we go, try again. Like, I'm spamming the jump button just in case his feet like barely crest 
onto the uh, the fence, but he's just not touching it at all. It is impossible for me to land on there. And the worst part is I have to do another triple jump off the fence after this. There's not much you can say. It's precise enough, as is due to small hitbox. The only thing I can say is learn where you're commonly landing in each attempt. Yeah, I know where the world record lands, and I'm trying to do the shortest jump possible for all of it. But like, th now I'm landing too short, like... Ugh, there's no in-between! It's not consistent! Just be consistent, Mario! Okay, that time I held long on purpose, because I saw I was further. I shouldn't have rolled, that was not what I was supposed to do. Whatever, it's fine. Dying is much faster to get back to the, uh, the checkpoint to attempt it again. Alright, the worst part is I'm not even trying this from the correct spot. I'm supposed to be diving across this gap here, not just ground pounding on this fence. Ah, come on. Yo, fuck your slime, get out of here. I got time for this bullshit. Get out. <laughs> Stupid piranha plants. Small jumps. I think my first jumps were too long that time. You found a menu for GTA where you inject it into the uh, into it using a DLL file, which uh, with Xeno 64. I've never even heard of that program. I know what a DLL file is. I've used those before. I actually use them sometimes in my job. Bro, how is that not a triple jump? I landed on the fence and I didn't even get the jump! I'm being robbed here, folks! Get up, turn around. There you go. Nope. See, I held it just barely too long and I go over the fence. There's no freaking in-between with this strat! Oh god, this, I'm gonna lose so many Wood Kingdom runs to this, and the next strat, I guarantee it. Nope, 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 wrong move. So I wonder if I can just do it from here. It's a bit easier, except when the freaking slime gets in your way. Dumb piranha plants. Dumb, dumb piranha plants. There it is! Fuck. <laughs> God damn it, I got the triple jump and I couldn't get the next part of the strat. Did, what? Didn't I kill this dude? How are you alive again? No one wants to hear you, dumb piranha plant. Alright, that was bad. I held down the triple jump way too long. Take a look at DMs real quick. Alrighty. I'm looking. Oh, those are the razor masks. They look kind of cool, but we shouldn't need masks anymore. Everyone is getting vaccinated. So why would you push masks toward the end of the pandemic? Nope. Screw you, Mario. All I need you to do is land on the fence. Yeah, see, Florida doesn't even require masks anymore, exactly. So, why are companies promoting new masks now? Shit, I didn't even get the triple jump. That was weird. I always get the triple jump there. Whoa, got lucky there. Bro, how are you not landing on the fence? Nope. Some places want us to still wear them. Companies have the option to say otherwise, although not required. Some companies... Yeah, some companies still want them because this entire world is brainwashed into thinking we need masks. There we go! Got the triple jump. No, why didn't I get another jump after that? God damn it. Not making that, yeah. Alright, that's fine. Every time I turn the corner, this dude respawns! Ugh! It's a nightmare. One, two, three. One, two. Nope, too far. I need the muscle memory for this. I just need it to be learned. 
that was short. Ah, stupid slime, come on. Malicious file, run away. Oh god, Heiko, don't break your system trying to install GTA hacks. You just got new RAM. <laughs> your escape theater still wants us to wear them? Yeah, I'm not surprised. There's gonna be private places that want you to wear them, but I think it's kind of stupid at this point. Three, one, two, nope! Oh, tomorrow's when the RAM comes. My bad, I thought you said today. My bad. One, two, no. Now I'm getting too short of a jump for the first triple jump. Good god. One, two. Oh, I lost all my speed. One, two, three. One, two, three. I get it so wide, that's the thing. Yeah, okay, I knew I wasn't gonna get another cap jump there, that sucks. Okay, you can piss off. There we go. He's dead. Amazon's pretty, uh, pretty on time with their packages, I find, Heiko, so you should get your RAM whatever the estimated time is. Come on, I barely pressed that double jump. Piss off. Twice I've ordered something from Amazon and it's delivered late, but it happens for no one else in my family, just me. Maybe you should get someone else to order it for you next time. That'll solve the issue, right? <laughs> then you don't have to worry about it being late. Oh wait, I don't need to be on the fence anymore. Ah, come on. Wait, no, I want this dude gone. Nope, get out of here. Goodbye, no one wants you. All right, let's do it. Yeah, so I'm getting like a super wide. Okay, I wasted some time trying to turn the camera there, but I'm I'm getting a super wide triple jump with it, which is not at all the path that the world record video takes. So I have no idea how to get that closer. But I'll take the wide variant because it's it's the only thing that's working for me. Except that time, and we're dead. God damn it. So what else are you guys excited about from E3? You can talk about anything from any day of E3. We don't have to talk about it just today. God damn it. You only watched the 5G bit of E3? You didn't watch anything from any of the previous days, Heiko? Only today? Come on, dude. Day one, there wasn't much that interested me. Day two, kind of the same. I thought the Xbox reveals were kind of nutty. There were a lot of titles that are getting added to Game Pass, so if you've got Game Pass, you've got a lot that you're going to be able to play. Freaking Christ. Every time I hold the double jump slightly too long, he goes right over the freaking fence, and if I don't hold it long enough, he doesn't even reach the fence. Fuck you, Mario. Fuck you. Uh, there's like 30 games that Xbox announced. I don't know all of them, Heiko. You should look it up, though. There, there are a lot of games that are coming to Game Pass. Check Twitter or something. I'm sure it's everywhere. Yeah, you, can, you, should, you should look it up. Definitely. Day 3 with Capcom and Razer were what I wanted to see, and they were at the very end. And it seems like they didn't have any good reveals. Whoa, I landed on the side of the slime and I didn't get hurt. Now I did. Okay, well, thanks for that. Bro, I literally clicked the second jump as fast as I could and I still went over the fence. Uh, Forza Horizon 5. Oh, I did see something about Forza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there's definitely a new Forza game coming out. I did see that. I think it's 
in Mexico this time? I think that's what the trailer said. Bro, I spam the jump button and I can't jump on there. Yeah, Mario, why are you so annoying? Cool, we got five coins that we're about to lose all of them. I thought Moons gave you ten coins. Weird. You may not have ever played Resident Evil 8 or any of the games, but you still like watching the series. That's okay, you don't have to play a game to like watching it. I mean, hell, that's what half of YouTube gaming is, is just people watching games they don't own. I'm same with Twitch, but you'd start on YouTube. Ah, come on. As for Monster Hunter, you love Rathalos? I don't know what that is. I've never played Monster Hunter, so I don't know anything about that game. You don't have Odyssey, but you like watching it here? See? You don't have to own a game to like watching it. I, uh, I think Odyssey was the reason I got a Switch in the first place, because I really wanted to play this game. Whoa, I went really far with that. Okay. That triple jump went further than I, I thought it did. Nope, nope. Get out of here. One second, I send you an image of uh, Video Game Rathalos and the Monster Hunter movie. Okay. I'll check that out. Just let me know when you when you send the DM because uh, I don't hear Discord notifications when I'm streaming. Damn it! Okay, I landed on the fence, but I did not by any means get a triple jump. What? That little freaking corner of the slime is gonna hurt you, Mario. Get out of here. One, two, screw you. Ah! Uh, first picture is the game, second picture is the movie. Alrighty. Oh wow, the movie version looks pretty cool, but obviously that's CGI versus the video game assets. So what, you have to fight that thing? In game, or you? I guess yeah. It's Monster Hunter. You're hunting monsters. <laughs> How are you not getting the first triple jump, Mario? Explain to me this. Explain to me. One, two, three. One, two, three. It's kind of low. Ah, come on! You gotta turn your camera faster. He made it as a boss in Smash Ultimate as well? What? I never knew that. Why do they make such random characters bosses in Smash? But also, I didn't even know Smash had bosses. Thought it, I've never played the full story mode. I don't even know anyone who cares to play the full story mode. Because Smash is all about the multiplayer aspect. Turn around. I hate how many times I have to flick the controller backwards for Mario to actually fully turn around. One, two, three. Bro, how is that on a triple jump? You landed on the fence and jumped right after touching the ground. Explain to me. You played the full story mode and you loved every bit of it? Alright, well, no offense to you, but I, I don't see story mode as a very lucrative part of the Smash Brothers business. Yeah, we're gonna die. Ah, here we go. One, two, three. Short jumps here. Crap, what? See, this is why I need to turn my camera earlier, because I never would have seen that coming had I not turned my camera. It's my thing, dude. <laughs> Alright, well, I won't bash you for your thing, man. Everyone's entitled to enjoy what they enjoy. God damn it. 
How many times have I purposefully killed Mario this stream? Someone should start tallying how many times I purposefully kill him. I missed the message before that? Oh, uh, sorry, my bad. It's not, but they put her in game after being the completionist I am I had to be. Yeah, I get that. I thought about doing it, but I'm just not that good at Smash, and I don't play it that often, so it's, it's not worth it for someone like me. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sucky when it comes to Smash. You should, uh, we should play Smash Online, though, Revered. I've played it with Crow and Heiko and uh, Superboy before, but I don't think I've ever played with you. God damn it. Ah. You used to play competitive Smash, are you sure about that? Oh, I, I mean, I play it for fun. I don't care if I lose. I know I'm not going to win. I suck at the game. It's still fun to play with friends, though. I didn't know you played competitive Smash, though. It's pretty cool. Who's your main, then? Who do you like playing as the most? I'm lame, and I really only know how to play one character super well. Well moderately well, <laughs> and it's Pikachu, so that's like the character I play every time. I hate switching up my characters, because there's just so much to learn with other characters. No, I get good at one character, and that's it. That is how I play. Sorry. Fuck my life. Come on, dude. Just land on the fence. How hard is it? You're Pikachu main too? Oh god, okay. Well, I don't know if we could do Pikachu versus Pikachu. That might not work out so well. You'd still probably school my ass. Bro, how's that not a triple jump? You're landing on the fence. Just do a triple jump. High school esports club. Didn't even know that was a thing. My high school didn't have an esports club. Even if it did, I probably wouldn't have been in it. I was so involved in the music department at my school. Okay, no jumps, whatever. I don't understand why that doesn't break quickly when I'm throwing Cappy at it repeatedly. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Ruby Rudy? WGI World Champs, hell yeah. Wait, did that happen this year? I don't even remember. I've been so out of touch with WGI. <laughs> what's up, dude? How you been? Ah, no, we didn't miss it. We missed it. Two words on how a school, on how to school a Pikachu at his own game. Nair loops? Nair loops. Uh, what, just, that's just jumping and hitting the attack button without moving, right? I'm not well versed in smash knowledge, or terminology, I should say. You're Gucci, how are you? I'm doing pretty well. Had a little bit of a late start to the stream, but something came up before. All good, though. We are having a good time here now. Trying to practice some speedrunning movement that's quite aggravating and very difficult. Here, I can show you what I'm trying to practice from the uh, the world record video here. That's not the world record video, that is. Hang on. There we go. Okay, so check out this movement. We're trying to... We come down here... We're supposed to get a really quick triple jump here, a second quick, quick triple jump off the rail, and then around the corner to this nut. I've only gotten the, tr the third triple jump off of that slope ceiling once, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that consistently. And then you got to come back, jump onto the rail here, and get another triple jump off the rail there. Like, what? How is that possible? How is that doable for someone like me? The uh, Nair is a combo that is basically unescapable. It's perfectly executed. You will go from 0% to somewhere between 70 to 80 with no way to prevent it. What? And what jump? What attack is this? That's just... I was right before when I said you just jump, don't move, and then hit the attack button, right? Yes. Let's go. Ah, I moved too far to the right. How did that even happen? Whatever, let's try again. Neutral air, that's what it is, neutral air. Yeah, okay, I know what you're talking about then. Do, do, do. 
do 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 Yeah, I didn't know about things like that, like a Nair attack, or just other slight terminology like that until probably junior year of college, when I started playing Smash Ultimate with my roommates. But before then, any Smash I had ever played, which is not often because I never owned it, but anytime I had played it, I would just mash buttons. I didn't know what the hell to do. I wasn't good at the game, and I'm still, I'm still not good at the game. Screw you, Mario! Just land on the fence! I'm jumping in the same spot every freaking time for you, dude. That's... yep. Saw that coming. The combo's literally, literally this. Grab, down throw, nair, fast fall, so tap down. Rinse and repeat until you can't do it anymore. Uh, okay. I'll try that when I eventually play again. One combo that I liked with Pikachu is grab, hurt him a little bit, and then throw them up and do lightning. I like that one. It's usually a pretty inescapable combo with the lightning. Bro, I'm spamming the jump button. Why won't you jump off the wall? Ay, ay, ay. Whoopsie. The frame perfect up throw thunder combo? <laughs> I didn't realize it had to be frame perfect, but yes, I do like that combo. That's one I figured out on my own. Oh my god! Okay, we didn't get a triple jump, but we got it! Okay, I shouldn't I shouldn't have ground pound there. There was probably a better way of doing that, but cool! Let's go, that was awesome. No, whoa, 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 wrong way, buddy. Ah, all right, that was bad movement anyway. Very muscle memory dependent. I've never done it competitive, well, I've never played competitively, but I've done that a bunch of time with my friends and roommates. I can definitely get that move pretty well. I'm sure I could never get it on a competitive person, like a legit competitive Smash player, but it is still a very fun combo. Ah, stupid slime. One, two, three. One, two, three. No triple jump. Or cap bounce. That's cool. Dude, I can't see anything. Holy shit. All right, let me try this jump again. Every time I just crest right over the fence. How do you get these triple jumps? I can't. I can't. I'm going to lose my mind. Oh my god. It's inescapable inescapable if you perform it perfectly. The windows, however, are frame perfect. Okay, I never knew that. Maybe the windows are frame perfect if you're going up against someone who knows how to avoid it. If it's someone who doesn't know how to perfectly avoid it, then it's not frame perfect. I know that. It will not let me jump on this. Is this is this a strat? Just do this all the way across? <laughs> Every time I slipped off of it, it would give me a, a, a wall jump. Watch this. You can just infinitely get back on, infinitely get back on there. Pretty cool. Okay, I slid a little too far that time. No, dude, turn! I'm turning, I'm turning. Yeah, okay, that was pretty angled. I knew that wasn't gonna work. God damn it. <laughs> Bro, grab the pole. What are you doing? That was a mess. Up throw, run seven frames, turn around, crouch three frames, then jump and thunder for the remaining frames. What? That sounds like way too much tech to remember. I just grab them and throw them upward and then do my lightning blast. That's about it. <laughs> too much to remember, dude. Dude. Ah! Piss off! Stop grabbing the ledge! Go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Nothing. That's the usual, that's the, the casual crusher combo. 
Yeah, never would have known any of that. The one I told you is the professional crush crusher combo. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I'm not, I can barely follow my character on screen sometimes, let alone count frames. That's never happening. Okay, the one time I get too short of a double jump. Where did I leave? There we go. I mean, I mean, yeah, it's muscle memory, but you gotta know the number of frames. You gotta know, like, the moment you're looking for. Come on, how's that not a triple jump? One frame off and the whole trick doesn't work. Yeah, I get it. I know what, I know what frame perfect means. I am officially a speedrunner. I would hope I know what that means. One, two, three. One, two, three. Make it, make it! Oh, come on. Slow, slow, slow. I should really start practicing this from the opposite sh opposite side, because I'm getting a little bit better with it, but not perfect. See, spamming sometimes helps. Nothing. Cool. Love it, Mario. How do I spam throw Cappy? Why? Why can't I like spam throw Cappy to break that nut? I don't understand. Oh, come on, dude. You couldn't dive slightly to the left. Jesus, those two jumps sent him so far left and right. I don't understand the Odyssey physics engine. How does this work? Screw you, dude. too long. That one was my fault. I held it too long. Gotta hold the triple jump long, not the double jump. Okay, well, I don't know what the hell that was. Try again, Mario. One, two. Bro, I didn't hold the double jump long. What are you doing? It's like I have to curve out and back onto the fence, and that's not consistent. Ugh, drives me nuts when strats like this aren't consistent. So I'm getting hot. Let's turn the fan on. Uh, that didn't sound good. There we go. One, two, three. One, two. Bro. Canary. Oh, oh my god. At least we're not falling into deep woods every time. If, if every time I failed this, I fell into deep woods, I would just, I would quit. No more any percent. We're done. <laughs> I can't take the deep woods. One, two, three. Jump, jump, jump. Not making that. Real cool, dude. How? Aren't you supposed to be able to like spam throw Cappy at this? I don't understand. Why can't I throw Cappy like super repeatedly at this knot? I don't, I don't get it. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand how to break the nut quickly. I've seen people do it, I've done it myself, I don't understand why it's not working now. Alright, let's try this strat from back across on the opposite side. See if I can get it coming from there. 
gonna bonk on this stupid corner like a million times. Okay, and we're in the deep woods. That's fucking cool, dude. Or, yeah, no, we're in deep woods. God damn it! Dude, deep woods suck! Well, at least we already have a uh, nut planted so we can get out of here fairly quickly. If I can find it. Where the hell is it? There it is. Don't even know what I did there, but alright. Up we go! Back to the mainland! Cool. Let's try again. See if we can get the strat once the correct way. <laughs> ay ay ay. No, it's supposed to be a long jump. There you go. Bro, it's not supposed to be a long jump. You're supposed to come out of that and do a roll. What? What did I bonk on? Are you kidding me? That was dumb. Stop bonking on the wall, dude. Just get your long jump going. Fuck. This is so much harder than just starting right here. No triple jump. Love it. Love it. Okay, well that time I kind of broke the nut a little bit faster, so that's cool. Something worked. Nope. Bad angle. Bad angle. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Guys, what is gonna be the freaking death of me? We're not even gonna get a full any percent run in. Ugh. There's so many more kingdoms to learn. I should have bonked there. It looked like he was about to bonk. Okay, where's the roll boost, dude? Come on. Oh, there's so many things that just freaking ruin this movement. Go, just go. Okay, no, this sucks. Is this gonna be the tough moment of this stream? I. I wasn't planning on doing this the entire stream, but I need to learn this. Like, I still don't even know Nut Clip. The problem is I'm getting that roll boost so much further out than where I normally get it, and now I have no speed! Where is all of your speed, dude? Why can't you just, like, maintain a fraction of your speed instead of dropping all of it like a freaking idiot? Oh, stupid fucking fence. I keep clipping it and losing all my speed. And we're going to Deep Woods. Real cool. God damn it, dude. I'm contemplating rage quitting and going to Fall Guys for a little bit. Yeah, I know. We should learn more of the kingdom, too. There's so many parts. That I can't put any of this kingdom together, though. Like, Nut Clip, I'm missing two moons because of that. I mean, technically just one. 
But then, I still don't even know the triple jump movement getting out of here. This was, I wasn't even supposed to do this. I'm supposed to go across. I have to learn the underwater room, don't I? Oh my god, I got the movement for once! Okay, besides the jump, but that's fine. Up, oh. oh, hello? Target it, please? Bro, target the nut! What are you doing? There we go. Alright, we'll skip this movement for now then. We'll we'll skip it. I am tapping as quickly as I can for those jumps, and I cannot get a triple jump from there. I don't understand. I don't understand. Literally doing the shortest hops possible. Alright, I'm pulling up the document so I can keep moving on. Where is Wooded? Is that Wooded Kingdom? Wooded, okay. We are at Pass the Nut Clip. Do do do. Um, go back to the gray blocks, round the corner. Okay, yep. Long jump towards the rail, triple jump while vectoring towards the platform. I didn't know I had to vector for that. We might as well start from over here and try and get this triple jump from right about here. Turn around. Thank you. Okay, well, you gotta get the first jump if we're gonna have a shot at the strap, Mario. That is not a long jump. Fuck. Long jump. Okay. I tap it as fast as I can. He doesn't get up above the fence. Bro, are you kidding me? Fucking Christ. Okay, made it. Now I gotta get that consistent. Hit twice, nice. Do we get three in a row? Nope, nope, too long. What I miss if I was eating dinner? Uh, just a little bit of raging and more practicing the same strat over and over again, Heiko. You didn't really miss much. Practicing this strat, though, that was too low. I came out of the triple jump too low, and I got the triple jump too soon. It wasn't exactly on the corner, so that sucked. Yeah, just, just a lot of failed attempts at strats, Heiko. That's all it is. That's all it is. Just trying to get the muscle memory down, you know? Muscle memory is so key for all of this. No, stop that. Long jump. One, two, three. Come on, I hit the second jump literally as quickly as I could. I barely tapped it. Hate how precise this is. <laughs> yep, that's the that's the motto here, Heiko, except I'm slowly going crazy, so we might rage quit and go to fall, guys. Nope. Go. One, two, three. Okay, I don't know the movement after that, but that's fine. What is the movement after that? Uh, what is it? Uh, long jump towards corner, brown jump, jump ball vectoring towards. Yeah, right. Okay. Then throw Cappy toward corner platform and dive onto Cappy. 
your happy torque corner again and dive onto the black one. Okay, I gotta watch the video for that one. Hang on, we're gonna pull up the world record video here. Oh, so he instant roll cancels forward to get onto there. So how does he do that? That's, uh... He roll boosts once. Okay. So triple jump into this. Roll boost. Instant roll cancel. Into a triple jump. Onto there. Oh boy. Alright. And where does he exit that triple jump from? Basically the corner of the upper platform. Got it. Okay. Alright, let's get over there. See what damage we can do. That's... nope. <laughs> That's not the movement we're doing. Bro, what? That looked good. God damn it. What was that triple jump? Good god. No, that's not a triple jump. Go, Mario! Okay, well, <laughs> the instant roll cancel kind of dragged me the completely wrong direction. Let's try this. Hang on. Nope. Try again, try again. You made progress on Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. You finished Chapter 7, which means you have all of the Crystal Stars. Dude, you're like cheating over there. What is going on? Wow, that was so slow and I still made it onto the platform. So good to know, even if I lose all my speed, we can still do that. Alright, what comes after this? Next. He does that, gets the moon. And then does he, does he ground pound? No, he dives and then rolls. Okay. So, nope, nope, nope. Let's, uh, hop up in the air like we just got the moon. Okay, well, there was no, no roll boost there, but that's fine. Pretty sure they go down here next? Yeah? Go down and in, or does he go up and avoid this altogether? No, he goes down. Yeah, yeah, he goes down and in. All right, cool. So my movement wasn't perfect there, but that's fine. So now, entering this room, doo -doo 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 -doo. where are we in the notes? Dive on the platform, two times roll, pass P-switch, yep. Throw Cappy at entrance and roll inside, and instant throw Cappy left and dive. Okay. He did like a... Okay, can't do that. So you're saying I should throw Cappy left, dive, and then triple jump? That didn't work. Um, how about... No. What do you want me to do here? Instant throw Cappy left and dive. Well, I can't dive unless I'm midair, so... That doesn't help with the triple jump. I mean, that's fine. I guess I can just do a wall jump and catch it that way. That didn't work. <laughs> Try again. I know you do this, and then this. And you're supposed to shake on the way out here. Cool. Pretty sure that's how you do that, right? That's how they still do it? That's, I'm pretty sure that's the correct movement. Let's see, let's see. Right, so he rolls into that, captures him. Up there, up there. Okay, so they jump a few times just to get... Just to, like, uh, catch up to the, the bridge. So it goes a little faster. Cool, I did that movement correctly, except they dive out. Okay, so they uncapture and dive into the moon, and then dive on the way out. Okay, cool. And then rolls out. Cool, and then he does instant roll cancel, right? Oh, he didn't instant roll cancel. Okay, he just he just rolled. So check this at movement out. Check this movement out. So I think he rolled over here, right? Let me go back. Yeah, what does he do coming out of that? Because I don't think he, he instant ground pounds. Oh, he does. He does instant ground pound. Okay, so coming out of there, we go... Boop. Not like that. And then you're supposed to, like, do this again and jump and go... Wow, that is a tough angle for me to, uh... To do facing this way. Oh, God. What if I do this? You're not facing the right way, Mario! 
Holy crap. Okay. Uh, let's get back up there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You just stopped before opening the thousand year door? Oh my god, you are like so far ahead of me, dude. Crazy. You blow me out of the water here. Alright, let me get back over there. Nope. Come on. One, two, three. Where was my three? One, two. No, bro. Come on. No. Hello. Where was my long jump? That's not a long jump. One, two, three. It's not exactly on the corner. But that'll work. Cool. Please. Nice. Everything inside the door is essentially chapter 8, which is the last chapter. Makes sense. Getting to the end of the game. I didn't know there were boxes there. What? Interesting. Oops. Almost had him. Wow, that is slow. Alright. No, bro. Come on. Come on. Oh, what the frick? Why can't I get this? Hello? Ay, ay, ay. No, oh, now I gotta wait for the bridge to come around. What's up with that one flower petal there? That was weird. There's one flower petal that just stood in midair. Bro, come on. Turn around as soon as you get out. Oh my god. There we go. Alright, whatever. I missed the moon. I don't care. Go. Yeah, I don't like this view at all. Can you spin, please? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I shouldn't have gotten stunned there. Okay, what's the actual movement for getting around the corner here? Yeah, getting into that that uh that roll down is gonna be super difficult. I'm not gonna be able to do that optimally. I'm gonna have to like just change the camera so it works for me. Okay, and then you want a triple jump going up this. Okay. Alrighty. You can do that. So it's like, let me come out of here, one, two, that's not a triple jump, and I'm dead. I'm not dead, I'm not dead, I'm not dead. Oh, we got lucky. Okay, let me come back, no, shit, that's Deep Woods. Oh, come on, dude. I fucking hate the Deep Woods. So close to the end of the kingdom. Yeah, once we get to the end of the kingdom, we're gonna try like one semi-complete run of it. Actually, I don't even know if we can. I don't think we have a save for it. I don't think I have a, an open save. Mm, yeah, I'm not sure. I think some of these have moon saved over them, so we wouldn't even be able to do like late, not late clip, moon clip, well, nut clip. We wouldn't be able to try nut clip once, so that's fine. Yeah, I know, I know. Just gotta pull through a little longer. I am... Yeah, alright, we'll, we'll keep going, we'll keep going. So, he landed somewhere over here, and then they were just doing, like, dives. Why does spamming the freaking throw button not do anything? There we go. Okay, after this, we need three more moons, or am I missing a moon? I'm probably missing a moon. Because after this, it should go to the waterway, no? God, no! Fucking god damn it! The freaking deep woods, man! Ah! Fucking hate the deep woods.
this point you'd only need two more moons. So, oh, no, 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 I'm not missing a moon. I'm not, it's the one in the wall that you need to do nut clip for. That's the one I'm missing, which it's fine. I can't do nut clip right now, so I shouldn't have that moon. So I'm not missing anything. We're, we're good. It's just the waterway next. So... God, I don't even know in the, in the notes where I am. Uh, ground pound, jump on top of nut to break the grab mood, dive back towards platform and roll off upper ledge, target, throw happy and dive onto platform. Yeah, okay, I can't follow this, I gotta watch the video. Okay, so you get that. No clue how they break the nut so fast. Cool. And he goes this way, turns the camera like a smart person. Oh, and they stop an instant roll cancel there, okay. And then they just go straight towards it. Got it. Alright, let's try that. Straight towards the pipe. Straight towards the pipe. Ah, get up. Got it. Get- oh my god, dude, swim into the pipe, what the fuck? Oh, Jesus. Alright, so we actually need to nail the movement in this room because it's based on cycles. So, uh, let's watch, shall we? Roll once, throw Cappy. Oh my god, I need some up throw craziness. Yeah, okay, hang on. Let's, uh, let's just read this, shall we? That's kind of insane. Okay, so where do you get into this pipe? Um, that's the animation. Okay, here we go. Here, triple jump, jump when facing the wall, dive backward. Cool, cool, cool. Mario is lifted up by water. Throw Cappy to the right, and Cappy return jump. What? Oh, here we go, here we go. Okay, roll and long jump to the right. When Mario is lifted up by the water, throw Cappy to the right, and then Cappy return jump. Up throw Cappy, and dive onto Cappy. Oh, good god. The worst part of this is I'm, I need to nail it because of the cycle, so I'm not going to be able to, like, try it again. Alright, so roll, long jump, and throw Cappy. Okay, the long jump did absolutely nothing, so that's fucking cool. Try again. Oh yeah, I guess I could just go in and out of the note. Yeah, no, I know your notes have the moves. It's just, it's, sometimes it's hard for me to follow. Oh, that was supposed to be a Cappy return jump. Whoopsie. Try again. We're gonna freaking die, dude. Really? You're gonna bonk on the one section of the pipe you're facing? Okay, roll. Bro, roll! Oh my god. I was holding the roll button and it didn't frickin' roll! Go in the pipe. Okay, let's try it again. Roll, long jump. That was supposed to be a backflip. No! Oh. I don't know what the crack movement is there. You want me to up throw? Because that's the new movement, but I don't like that. That up throw is tough. He's supposed to, he's supposed to like come out of here and then, and then up throw and dive onto Cappy? Like what? How does he dive onto Cappy there? So he throws it, jumps. Oh, that's where you up throw Cappy. He just does a ground pound jump here. He does this. He actually, he doesn't even throw Cappy a second time. He just, uh, the ground pound jump. And that. Okay, so you can crest up onto here without Cappy. Cool. That's cool. It's actually pretty hard to bonk up there, it feels like. Okay, so I can do that. Then, coming out of there, he does what? So it's... Coming out of this, Captain Dive. 
And then what? Jump, ground pound. So it's jump, ground pound. Yeah, okay. I got hit by them. That's fine. That's what the movement would be there. Why is he up throw? What? That's weird. This movement is so weird. All right, hang on. Let me let me bring it back on screen for you guys to see. So jump, ground pound, swim before you hit the bottom, up throw, swim again, Cappy return. What does he do there? Cappy return. So up, swim, jump, throw. Ay ay ay! So fast. Slow it down. Slow it down. So jump. Up, does he up throw Cappy there, but it goes forward instead? So it's up throw, jump, up throw, wall jump, dive. Good God. That is some insane movement. Okay. Let me try uh, from back here, shall we? Do, 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 do. There. We're gonna roll first. Long jump. Yeah, how am I supposed to up throw and dive into it there? What? How does that work? Okay, so he jumps before he's in the opening. Okay, I see where he's jumping and up throwing. Don't know if I'll be able to replicate it, but we'll see. Jump, up throw, dive, up throw. Jump, up throw, dive, up throw. Okay. Let's try it. Bro, where was the long jump? Excuse me? He did the sound for the long jump and didn't do shit! Mario, do your long jump! Don't know how the hell that movement's supposed to work, but alright. Sure, game. Oh, it spawns us right in here. Okay, that's cool. Wasn't aware of that. Yeah, what? How do you dive into an up throw like that? That doesn't make any sense. I don't get this movement at all. I was holding the frickin' ground pound button that's supposed to be a long jump! Why does he do other movement when I'm holding the right buttons? I don't get it! Alright, just fucking kill me, you dumb fuzzies. Yeah, all right. Up throw movement is not working there. We're we're nixing that. Real cool, real cool. Love the cycle there. Fuck off. The water seems to catch Mario just before you can pull off the long jump. I mean, half the time I'm getting it, but the other half doesn't fucking matter because I can't get the rest of the strats.
Yeah, like, what? Just kill me. Just kill me. Cool underwater death, Mario. Haven't seen that one before. Yeah, alright. That movement's not working out. We're doing modified movement. I, I'm over it. Get down, get down! Okay, the water was supposed to meet me here, but that's cool. I really don't care anymore, guys. I'm I'm over it today. Sorry. I'm just really not feeling Mario today. We're gonna we're gonna do some fall guys for the rest of the day. I'm just I'm not feeling it. Sorry guys. <laughs>